Hello, my name is April Perkins and I'm the Director of ESOL and Bilingual Programs at the Maine Department of Education. ESOL stands for English for Speakers of Other Languages. Maine welcomes families of all cultural and linguistic backgrounds and the Maine Department of Education is committed to meeting the needs of all learners. In order to ensure that all English learners pre-K to 12 are correctly identified and receive support to succeed academically, the Maine Department of Education has developed an English learner identification policy to be used statewide. The process involves two steps, identification of potential English learners through the language use survey and English language proficiency screening. The purpose of this brief video is to provide an overview of the identification process and ensure that the language use survey is administered correctly. We will now walk you through a few different scenarios you may encounter when administering the language use survey. First, we have a fairly straightforward example. A family enters with a child to enroll. The parent speaks English, can read and understand the language use survey, and answers each question with English only. The child will not be administered an English language proficiency screener, and the process stops there. It's important to note that if teachers observe the student using a language other than English, or if the student later indicates that he or she has a primary or home language other than English, and teachers perceive a possible need for English language support services, an English language proficiency screener may be administered. The school use only section at the bottom of the language use survey must be completed prior to screening the student. In our next example, a family enters with a child to enroll. The parent speaks enough English to read and understand the language use survey and does not request interpretation or translation. Parents indicate on the language use survey that their child has a primary or home language other than or in addition to English. The child must be administered an English language proficiency screener. If your district has an ESL endorsed teacher on staff, typically this is the point at which he or she would be contacted to follow up with the family and schedule an appointment for the screening assessment. If no ESL endorsed teacher is on staff, it would be advisable to proactively locate one who can help you complete the identification process as needed. It's not required that the screener be administered by an ESL endorsed teacher, but it's strongly preferable. If the student scores above the English learner identification threshold, the student is not an English learner and no further steps are necessary. If the score is below the threshold, the student will receive English language support services from a 660 ESL endorsed teacher until exiting by demonstrating proficiency on the WIDA Access for ELLs assessment. Remember that both the language use survey and the English language proficiency screener report must be kept in the student's cumulative file. Now to our final scenario. A family arrives to enroll a student and speaks little to no English. In order for the parent or guardian to fill out the registration packet and language use survey, translation and or interpretation will be necessary. Remember that the Maine DOE has translated the language use survey into 25 of Maine's top languages, so this should cover the majority of your needs. However, if the family speaks a language that the survey has not been translated into, the school must provide translation and or interpretation services to assist the family in enrolling. A qualified translator or interpreter can be accessed through a phone interpretation service or in person through an agency. A list of translation and interpretation services is available on the main DOE website, although no particular service is recommended or endorsed. In order to determine which language a family speaks, Keep a language card at the front desk. The language card allows a family to indicate their preferred language. Keep in mind that some families may not be literate in their primary language. In such cases, a phone interpretation service can generally assist you to determine which language is needed. Once the family has completed the language use survey, if any question is answered with a language other than or in addition to English, the student will be administered an English language proficiency screener and the same steps will be followed as in the previous scenario. These are just a few examples that we hope will help clarify Maine DOE's statewide English learner identification policy. To summarize the key points highlighted in this video, the Maine DOE language use survey must be administered as part of the registration packet for all students enrolling in an SAU for the first time. All students identified as potential English learners through the language use survey must be administered an English language proficiency screener. The resource guide entitled Serving Maine's English Learners will give you more details. All schools must provide translation and or interpretation services as needed to assist a family in completing the language use survey and in enrolling. All language use surveys and English language proficiency screener reports must be kept in students' cumulative files. 
All English learners must be identified within 30 days of enrollment from the beginning of the school year or within two weeks mid-year. There should be no delay in enrolling students and placing them in classes. If an enrolling student has already been identified as an English learner by another main SAU, an English language proficiency screening assessment is not needed. The student's English learner status can be confirmed in the state student data system. It's still required that the parent or guardian of any student enrolling in the SAU for the first time complete the language use survey. This is to expedite the identification and placement process as there can often be a delay in receiving a student's cumulative file from his or her previous district. If you have any questions about the information presented in this video, the main DOE is happy to help.